Hello everyone, welcome to Dev Tamin. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up uh, Tailwind CSS version 4 projects for beginner. So the last time I have uploaded a video and people say like they have the problem with tag class, for example, uh, the tag 3XL doesn't work and the class about background doesn't work and the class about uh, container doesn't work. In this video, I'm going to do it again and proof is to you that everything should work perfectly. Okay, uh, before we get started, make sure that you have installed Visual Studio Code. I will use Visual Studio Code as the code editor. And don't forget to install Node.js on your computer. Okay, make sure that you download and install this one. So sometimes if you use the own version of Node.js, it might have the problem with catch. So make sure that you use the up-to-date version. It will be great. Okay, the next step, let's go to Tailwind documentation, tailwindcrs.com and go to docs and go to CLI. Tailwind CLI, over here, we are going to use Tailwind CLI to create Tailwind projects. Okay, let's create a folder over here. Let's create a uh, no folder over here tailwind you can name it whatever you want but i will name it tailwind starter v4 okay let's open this folder with visual studio code right click open in terminal and then type code and dot hit enter okay let's open new terminal over here make sure you open command prompt instead of PowerShell, I will close PowerShell over here. Let's type npm init. So we are going to initialize Node.js package. So hit enter, 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 enter. You will get package.json over here so we can install a node package. Uh, you will have package.json over here, then we can install Tailwind inside here by using Node.js. Okay, let's go back to node documentation, copy this code, and then go back here, paste it down here, and hit enter. In the dependencies over here, you will see Tailwind CLI and Tailwind CSS has been installed. Okay, the next step, let's go back to the documentation, is tell you import Tailwind into your CSS. Okay, let's create a folder over here, source folder. And then let's create no files over here. And then name is input.cls. Okay, and then copy this code. And paste it over here. This code will use to compile input.cls to output.cls. So you will get output.cls over here. Before that, we have to import this into, before we compile this one, we have to import Tailwind CSS in our CSS files, which is input.cs. Save it, and if you go back to output, you will see a lot of classes over here, and you can use it with HTML. Okay, let's create HTML files over here, index.html. Okay, you can copy the sample code over here and test if Tailwind work on your projects. Over here, you will see we include output.cs into the index.html. So let's open this with live server. Make sure that you've installed live server extension on Visual Studio Code server over here. This one, make sure that you installed this one on your Visual Studio Code. So you can make a right click on HTML5 and open with live server you will see it's work. Let's see if tax 5 xls work over here. Let me create div and then h2 class tax 5 xl and then this is tax 5 xl. Let me save and let me refresh this one again. See this tag is bigger than this tag. That means it's work. And background color doesn't work. For example, BG red 500 and text color is sky 500. Let me save and let me go back here and refresh this one. 
Sometimes it doesn't refresh automatically, so you have to refresh it. See, it's work. Let's see if container class work over here. Let me create con class container over here. And let me save. And let me put BG yellow 500. Press Ctrl S to save it. So it will regenerate output the CSS for you. And if you go back here, you will see container work. You, if you refresh, you will see container work. Let me remove this background color to prove that container works. Over here, you will see container color work. For example, I am I put over here MX Auto. Let's see if it works. Let me refresh this. If it doesn't refresh, it's automatically. See, it's work. Everything work. It's good. So let me stop this uh, building process because I don't want to use this uh, code to compile it every time. So I'm going to copy this code and put it in package.json. So I put dev over here and put the command over here. Instead of running this command, I just run npm run dev. Okay, let's type npm run dev. Let me refresh here. Let me create another one. Let me h1 class text 8 xls and then hi I am biggest. Okay. Let's see. Refresh, see. Everything worked perfectly. What if I want to move index.html to other folder? For example, I move it to this. Just move it. Just copy it over here. Put this over here. Just move it. Just drag and drop and move it to there. So the output we can delete and we can regenerate it again. So over here, we make chain. This is the input files. Input the CLS. This is the output. So we put this over here. And they put and we put styles as a name. So because we change this one to styles, right? We over here we have to make change is to styles because it's going to generate style into this folder. See this and style as file. Why it doesn't generate it to you right away? Because you make change package.json, you have to stop it, con press Ctrl C and start it again. For example, npm run dev. Okay, you will see here, and if you delete this one, it's, it's okay, mm -hmm. right? I'll put over here, we don't need it anymore. And you can open this with live server again. Yeah, I'm big. Let me test again. For example, if I put uh, S3 and put class, right, text 7 XL, and over here, this is 7xl save and let me go back to web browser let me refresh this one because it doesn't refresh it automatically see it's work so if i need auto suggestion i just put tailwind.config.js over here and you have to make sure that you have installed tailwind intelligent tailwind css intelligent to have auto completion, to have auto suggestion like this. You will see that when we go back here, you will see color auto suggestion over here. For example, over here, H2 auto suggestion. Save it and then we put class and we can put like text, like you will see auto suggestion over here. You can put six. And you save it and you come back to here refresh it if it doesn't refresh automatically try to refresh it okay let's open this one with our uh, live server let's test if it's work for example if you right click over here and reveal in explorer so actually you will give this two file to other programmer or you will use this two file to upload into the server right okay let's open this with uh web browser you see it's work the same 
you don't have to make change anything all right this is all about this tutorial all right this is all about this tutorial uh if you if you if your project if your project doesn't work you might try to check uh, node.js it might happen big the error might happen because of the catch or the old version of node.js or you might try to restart your computer and try to create the projects again all right if you like this video feel free to comment like and subscribe i appreciate every comment let me try to open index.html without live server for example if you right click over here and reveal in explorer so actually you will give this two file to other programmer or you will use this two file to upload into the server right okay let's open this with a web browser you see it's work the same you don't have to make change anything if your project doesn't work you might try to check uh, node.js the error might happen because of the catch or the old version of node.js or you might try to restart your computer and try to create the projects again all right if you like this video feel free to comment like and subscribe i appreciate every comment